Hey, welcome back to Fit Survivor Channel. So today I have uh, two custom Swiss Army knives here. We'll be showing, and uh, really going to be accenting on this larger one. And so basically, you can see these were made as a set, kind of to match here. And so both of them have titanium scales. They both have been flamed, given that dark color. You see, they both have blue G10 liners. And I'll show you the small one real quick, and then we'll just set it aside for now. So he has the Honey Bee. We have the combination tool here with the Phillips, and you see a little modification to make this uh, wire stripper a bit more effective. All right, it has the scissors. So back here we have the scalpel mod. This is the night cord. All right, then we have the cuticle pusher. This is a small little mod on the side of it here, modification here, to make kind of like a, a uh, package opener. So she just slightly sharpened. Uh, not enough to cut, but enough to like open tape and stuff like that. All right, then we have the fingernail file with a flat head on the end. And lastly, we have the awl from the winger. All right, so for now, I'll be setting this aside. I just want to show that since they are kind of a matching set. All right, and now this, uh, this is what we call a Dragonox. Uh, it's a lock pick. So yeah, basically a Dragonox lock pick. And so there's the dragonfly. This is the Warncliffe blade. And so it also has the original edge on it. And so this has not been sharpened. Uh, basically it comes as it is. So you don't have to modify that at all. All right, and I'll go ahead before I get ahead of myself. This also has the combination tool from the Victorinox Compact. And it also has a uh, basically a wire stripping mod right here. All it's been done is been sharpened up. All right, and then why this is called a lock pick is because it has a, a shank here, the lock shank. And so I'll get into this just a bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the tools before we move on with that. So the pliers, and there's a back here, right? The scissors. All right, on the back, we have the corkscrew. And in here, what we're holding, this is the fire ant. So that's a small little uh, ferro rod. This right here is the helix tender. If you don't know what these are, if you haven't seen them before, uh, be sure to go back and watch my review of these two items. All right, then right here what we've done is we made a little slot to hold the needle. And then the last tool in the back is the multi-purpose hook with the nail file. All right, so moving back to the, the lock shank. So basically what this is, uh, obviously this is a lock pick. Um, and so usually what you'll see for lock picks is something like this. So for example, uh, you need your tensioner, and that's what it does. You put your tensioner in there, and then, for example, this is a rake. And you'd go through there, and you'd have to manipulate these pins to get them all in the right order, and then it pops open. So you couldn't really fit those kind of tools uh, into the lock pick here. And so uh, basically what this is supposed to do is supposed to reach up, and it's supposed to move this little brass holder right here and that one, but slide them over. That way you can open the, the padlock without having to... Uh, kind of mess with these pins right here. So you'll notice the first one slid over. And so I just need to get the second one to also move over for us. I'm not really uh, super good at this. Usually this can be done really quick. All right, so you see there? So without having to mess with the those pins, you're able to pop that open. So that's where basically this uh, tool got its name. So the Dragonox Lockpick. So let me know what you think about this tool here. You'll notice it is accessible the way I set it up. You can't access it right here with your fingernail. Or if you wanted to, you could also access it with this little cutout that I made. So let me know what you think about that tool shank, adding that into a Swiss Army knife. If you find that something that you could see yourself using or not really. Anyways, let me know what you think about that, about these two as a, as a matching set. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.